this year, 113 million travelers are expected to hit the road and the skies for holiday trips. That means busier airports and higher travel costs due to inflation. Here to help us navigate the season ahead is Alicia Prakash. She's the Associate Editorial Director at Travel and Leisure Magazine. Alicia, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Thank you for having me. Everyone wants to know, what are your top tips to make travel this holiday season as stress-free as possible? Yeah, so these days, new travel regulations and short-staffed airports can really lead to long lines when checking bags or going through airport security. Mm -hmm. So I always say it's best to err on the side of caution and arrive at the airport early. Okay. You know, getting to the airport at least two hours in advance is always a good idea, but that's especially true during the holiday season mm -hmm. to avoid any added stress. Uh, similarly, if you're driving to see loved ones, you know, you'll want to allot extra travel time for traffic. Um, apps like Waze can be incredibly useful tools for gauging traffic conditions, mm -hmm. um, not only before you hit the road, but once you're driving. So definitely recommend downloading that as well. Um, now, if you haven't already booked your flights, mm -hmm. um, I do recommend opting for an early morning flight yeah. as well as a, a direct flight. This will help you avoid any delays with layovers and in the event that your flight does get canceled, there will be hopefully plenty of options for, to you, for you to rebook on throughout the day. A couple of questions. We're all going to be together. So any tips for dealing with crowds specifically? And then what happens if your flight is delayed or it is canceled? Walk me through the process of getting your money back. Sure. So if you are truly looking to escape those crowds this holiday season, it pays to be flexible with your travel date. Okay. So, you know, looking to arrive a day or two earlier um, and returning a day early or late can really help you save money as well as avoid those crowds. You don't go on the peak days. Exactly. You might also want to opt for a smaller airport that's mm. nearby rather than a main hub. So, you know, for example, fly into Long Beach Airport instead of LAX. Yeah. These smaller airports tend to have less demand, so they offer lower prices and fewer crowds. But mm -hmm. either way, if you're flying, download the MyTSA app, okay. which offers information on airport security wait times. Um, so, you know, you can monitor for the hubs that you'll be flying and then uh, plan accordingly. And what do people need to know when their flight is delayed or canceled? Yeah, great question. So, you know, hopefully all runs smoothly. Um, however, first and foremost, you'll want to consider uh, third-party sites like mm -hmm. FlightAware to monitor your flight for any potential delays or cancellations. Um, you know, in the event that your flight is unfortunately canceled, uh, your airline will likely rebook you on a new flight. Um, if for some reason that route doesn't work for your travel schedule, though, call your airline. You know, talking to a customer service agent really provides you with flexibility to get the rebooking that you want. And one tip I really love is call your airline's international hotline. Yes, you know, most I heard about US, this. Yeah, so most U.S. passengers will call the main the U.S. domestic line, yeah. Yep. And while that's a great option, you'll likely endure longer waits. Mm -hmm. So try calling your foreign office and, you know, the agents there, you'll likely get through faster and the agents there will be able to help you just the same. Right. They speak English. Yep. What's, let's talk about <laughs> gear. What are the best pieces of luggage or bags? What do you like to travel with? Yeah, so, well, first and foremost, I'll say I am team carry-on. So yeah. if you can, pack a carry-on only light. to reduce your chances of losing any luggage along the way. Um, you know, it's also a great idea so that you can bypass the baggage carousel on your way out so you can breeze yeah. right through the airport when you land. Um, but if you are checking a bag, take a picture of your suitcase. Mm. Um, this can really help you get compensated in the event that your bag does get lost or, you know, it does arrive at your destination but arrives damaged. I have uh, about 30 seconds. What's your best tip for booking hotels? Yeah, so I would say um, if you haven't yet booked your hotels, compare prices on sites like Booking.com and Expedia to find a price that's right for you and your budget. Um, interestingly, the platform you use can also make a difference. So, um, you know, if you're on mobile, whether you're in app or browser, hmm. the prices might appear lower there than they would when you're on desktop. Interesting. And, yeah, and that's because some aggregator sites will offer app-only promotions mm -hmm. in order to um, entice their users to download and use their app. So ah. definitely consider that as All well. Right. Alicia Prakash with Travel and Leisure. Thank you so much, Alicia. Yep, thank you for having me.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.